Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. I hope you guys are having an amazing day today so far. Today on Coco Bell, we're doing another 2.0 upgrade. I'm really excited because we're gonna be working on this ginormous rock that we have over off the side on the beach. One of the things I've been hearing from you guys, and I super, super appreciate all of your kind messages and comments. You all truly mean the world to me, and I'm just so beyond thrilled to be able to share this island with you. But one of the things you all bring up a lot is ideas for these rock builds. This is definitely a challenge in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I find that these large rock surfaces are such cool places to build, but there's a couple of drawbacks. You can't terraform on these rocks and there's usually sort of an odd shape. So kind of trying to find a design that works with the odd shape of the rock and then sort of filling out even areas on the beach can definitely be a challenge. So today I'm drawing a little bit of inspo from this previous build. If you missed this video, this is actually an older video on the channel. I'm totally in love with it. This is actually a cruise ship that we created out of the peninsula on the island. This is, like I said, an older throwback video, but since we're sort of revamping the island itself, I'm thinking we definitely want to keep the cruise ship. So some of the builds on the island I want to keep, some we're sort of demolishing and reinventing. This particular rock used to be a yoga studio area and I really love that build. There is a video on that as well. I was kind of torn on this honestly guys, but ultimately I think it's going to be fun to refresh this. So let's turn it into a boat harbor. I think being that it's behind the cruise ship, it'll be totally perfect. So let's speed things up and get going. I'm really excited to do this build with you guys. We have some really stellar custom designs that we're using on this build today. We're using this pond and as well as this sort of wooden dock and if you can tell with this particular design I love that the wooden dock has little peaks of water sort of like a blue tone so it's very convincing as far as if you're trying to create the look of water on an area that is not um, water on the game. This is a great custom design to use for that. We're also using this beautiful pond pattern. I love this pattern. This is a pattern we used on the island previously before the upgrade but I wanted to kind of keep it just sort of revamping like I said and moving this design around using the pond in this particular area I think is going to be fantastic especially once we get the chance to place some of the items and like I said as always I'll be sure to list the design information in the description of the video for you guys so if you're looking for something like this to use on your island you'll have it readily available okay so let's catch up a little bit on this build so we've basically filled in a lot of the area on the rock with either this wooden plank deck sort of pattern and then I'm filling in the areas as best I can with this pond design now like I said the drawback with this is that the rocks are not terraformable and it's so weird trying to fit some of these patterns in but just basically work with the area you have I know that everybody has slightly different rock formations depending on which island you got they're all a little bit different they're sort of like a group of certain ones that you can get on the island sort of similar to the different shapes of peninsula so work with what you have that's my best piece of advice to get get a good design out of it secondarily any of the areas that you're not able to fit a design pattern completely into place like this little spot here don't be shy cover it with something just sort of disguise it and camouflage it that's usually the best way to handle a situation like that because especially these rock in some of the beach areas are very difficult when it comes to fitting design patterns in on the ground okay so let's catch up we've added some really cute items I love this wheat field item I know I've said it before but you guys please get your hand on a wheat field item you can customize them there's a few different shades a couple of green colors I really like this dark green here for this build because it definitely makes the custom design here pop um, underneath some of these yachts that we're using. We've also placed a storefront and of course three of these yacht items which let's be real fitting three of these yachts on this rock was definitely a big undertaking but as long as you can kind of turn them the right way they usually come together pretty nicely. Okay so I'm just trimming this out with a few extra items here. Um, we have a life Oh, Savannah, hi, she's so cute. Um, anyways, we are using some of the things like these life rings as well as the lighthouse itself. And yeah, just kind of thinking of little ways we can fill this in. And we definitely don't want to neglect the beach over here. I kind of thought that since we have the harbor right here, it would be nice to have a little boardwalk area, maybe something where you would see a little fresh fish market, something along those lines, maybe a little bit of a fish processing area, I guess is probably the best way to describe it. So we're gonna go ahead and cover the beach.
beach. Now, one of the things about the beach is you can only use custom design patterns on the ground. You can't use any of the in-game pathing um, over top of the sand. So that is a struggle, I think, sometimes for us, especially when you want your paths to show up on your actual map. But all you can really do in this situation is make it look cute. So I think using something like this worn board decking pattern, which we've used throughout the island, is really a good option. It's super convincing to make it look like a real different type of ground that you have when you're working with all of your designs on here. So we've covered this entire area here with that. And then we're sort of going to build up from this area. I want to frame in the rock itself. So I'm sort of using anything that we can find that's sort of tall. Um, I like to do that with designs. A few of you have asked me what, what are some ideas I tend to repeat for designs. And one of the things that I always stick to is consider height def differentiation. When you're looking at design, think Think of any of the taller items that you can layer towards the back that will sort of peek out at the top and then sort of go down as far as putting the shorter items in the front. Definitely is pleasing to the eye and adds a lot to a design. So that's what we're doing here and making sure that as we're placing these items, the taller items similar to this are going towards the back and then sort of layering the shorter ones in front. What is Savannah doing? She's cracking me up. She's literally doing her workout on our boardwalk, y'all, while we are building. Like, how rude is that? She's cracking me up. I guess maybe she's confused because this used to be a yoga studio area, and so maybe that's what the problem is here on Coco Bell. All right, so let me know in the comments, guys, if you've seen the previous area before when it was a yoga studio, is that something you think we should keep on Coco Bell 2.0? I'm really kind of torn. I loved the yoga area. It was definitely a popular build, um, got a lot of attention on Instagram. So I'm kind of thinking maybe we should keep it, maybe just relocate it. That's something I like to do as well on the island, especially if you're someone who is keeping the same theme on your island and you really love the theme itself, but you don't necessarily want to keep it exactly the same because let's be real. That can be kind of boring when you're living your best Animal Crossing life and you kind of see the same stuff over and over, but it's hard to let go of some of those cute builds that you come up, can come up with. So one of the things I think that helps a lot is maybe relocating, relocating an entire build and you might have to change it up a bit, but that definitely makes a difference. So let me know in the comments, do you think we should keep the Yogo build that we had here previously or should we scrap it and find something else to use? All right, so let's catch up with our build here. Like I said, I placed some of the storefronts here sandwiched together to sort of create a little storage house as well as a storage unit that coordinates in color as well, just to kind of create not only um, a convenient place to switch out our items, but just I think they're super cute. And I really love the storage shed, shed to use for decorating. It's one of my faves from the 2.0 update. And then we're sort of creating a little bit of a seating area over here. And we've used things like the conveyor belt, the stacked fish containers, as well as these food packages which have these really cute cuts of fish which I think are perfect for something like this. It's not a super um, popularly used item I don't think but I think it's really cute especially for something that has sort of a seascape idea to it. All right, it's coming together. I really like how this came together over here. I did forget one street lamp. So let's get this out and place it right here so we don't forget about it because I really love how these curved street lights sort of frame in a walkway. In particular, if you're doing a vertical type of walkway, vertical areas are so hard to decorate, you guys. You don't get the same perspective. You really can't see the items you place quite as well. So it takes a lot of strategic placement, keeping in mind the height and the shape of items to sort of match it up so they're easy to see. But the curve Curved street lights, just mm, they're perfect. I love them in a build like that. All right, so I'm loving this look over here. Love the overview here. I think that it's pretty convincing that there's water here and that this is definitely an area where the water kind of comes in to meet the beach. So it definitely is looking a lot more like a harbor and less like a rock over here. So I really like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this concept and I really hope you'll try it for yourselves. If you do, find me on Instagram at Peppy Crossing Play. I love it when you guys take these ideas, make them your own. I love to see how they came together for you. So don't be shy. Find me on Instagram. Also, if you have ideas of different type of animal content that you enjoy, either things we've done on the channel, I always love to hear from you guys. We recently did a Happy Home Paradise design tour for one of our subscribers, Gigi, and we had so much fun. So if you missed that video, please check it out because it's totally going to be worth your time. Lots of inspiration. Personally, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I really always love to see what concepts you guys are coming up with. Just really bringing a lot more inspiration to the Animal Crossing community. So if you're interested, I'm still looking to do more tours for that, especially if you guys enjoy that type of content, please be sure to like the video. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel.
So if you would like to have your island's dream or some of your happy home paradise designs potentially featured on the channel, please check out the consideration form. It's in the description of most of my videos. I always love to see what you guys have been up to. All right, let's check this out from first person perspective. I love this angle on the camera in the game. I really love that they gave this to us. It gives us a nice perspective, especially with a vertical build like this. You can really see all of the details of the build. And I totally want to check this out too from the perspective of the yacht area, specifically where the boats are because, oh my goodness, I really love how this came together. I think that it's very colorful and bright, definitely something that you can pull off for not only a tropic core or tropical type of island, but if you have sort of like a city or town core and you want to do a little harbor area, it, it would be totally something that you could incorporate into just the outskirts of your town as well. So really love the versatility of this concept and I love the wheat field. Oh my gosh, it's so perfectly convincing to be some form of beach grass or something like that. It's just, it's got to be one of my top 10 fave new items for sure. Yay, love it. I think we're actually going to hop forward in time. I kind of want to see this at night too. And I know that's something y'all have tell me, told me that you really enjoy is being able to see the difference of how some of these builds look in the daytime versus the nighttime. So let's skip forward here in time and see if we can get a perspective on how this looks all lit up at night. I'm really excited with how this lighthouse is going to look for sure. Ooh, check it out. Look at the lighthouse. It's perfect. I love the glow of the festival garland as well. And look at the spooky clouds. I think they really add a lot to the vibe going on here tonight over in our little harbor on Coco Bell 2.0. Love this. I love the glow of the storefront too. That's one of the things I didn't realize about the storefronts for quite a while after the 2.0 update that they glowed like that at night. I do tend to do a lot of playing on the game itself during the day. So it's always fun to have a chance to be able to visit everything on your island at night, especially if you're planning a build that's going to have a lot of glowing or lit up items. I almost think it's a little bit easier to plan your designs around and do them during the evening time so that however you want them to be best presented on your island, it's always a little bit better, I think, um, and easier to decorate in that time of day or night as well. Love this little fish packing area. I think it's perfectly convincing. It definitely fills out this spot really nicely. I am sort of missing the yoga studio, guys, but I really love how this came together, and I think it's probably one of my new favorite designs for the island. I hope you guys have enjoyed some of the beach builds we've done. If you missed those videos and you're looking to catch up if you're a new subscriber, um, a lot of the videos here on the Coco Bell 2.0 playlist are sort of beach-oriented, so if you're looking for some inspo on how to decorate your beach for if you have a trap trap island or just looking for some ideas on how to fill it in please check out those videos we did a beach rental as well as a juice bar so really enjoyed doing a lot of these builds hopefully um, pretty soon we'll have another villager hunt coming up it's been a little while since we've had any of the villagers asked to leave so I'm kind of anticipating that someone will ask to leave soon and then hopefully we can get another tropical dreamy hunt going on here on the channel other than that guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video wishing you all an amazing day take care and we'll see you in the next one Thank you.